Hello again, I'm Juan Gea from Bone Studio and today I want to show you how can you use Blender as a 2D animation review tool. So, to do this, it's pretty simple. We have to create a camera. Let's go here, camera, camera. Let's reset its rotation. And I like to rotate this 90 degrees in C. Okay, and now let's go into put this in two units set and let's look through the camera now to import or preview video or preview footage we have to use an add-on that comes with blender if we pick the blender user preferences you can reach them here you write here image and you will see import images as planes so enable this plugin this add-on and now you can import images or footage from here or, sorry, uh, image plane from here. So let's click here. Let's go where we have for footage. I'm going to use some preview footage from Agent 327. So Agent Reaction Emission Test is okay. In the settings, we have to make sure that auto refresh is uh, enabled and we have to click here in camera so the plane is restricted to the uh, field of view of our camera so camera and import images plane now we can see a plane it's a blank plane but in reality we have the texture the movie texture put here so we we'll go to texture we can see the texture but now if we if we scrap the timeline nothing happens there is a small book that mm, the movie texture is not going to play if you are not in a specific uh, location of Blender. So we have to go here in the texture panel. We go here and here we can see our, our texture. Now, if we move, if we scrap, we can see the, the texture playing. But if we press play, nothing happens here. So what do we have to do? It's a, it's a bug, uh, just like the other one. We have to, to have the mouse over this panel and press play with the keyboard. So the circuit to press play is this, Alt-A. So I, I go to this panel with the mouse. I don't have to click any, uh, anywhere. That's just have the mouse over the panel and press Alt-A. And now the texture is moving. Once I press play with, with the keyboard, I can move the mouse and uh, I'm not restricted to this panel. So we have everything to start painting. Uh, painting. Now we go to our grease pencil tab. We click in continuous drawing, draw. I'm in the frame zero and I say, let's put frame zero and two eyes and I want him to look through here and now I go to the frame 30 and a new frame the eyes and then I want him to look here in the frame 30 for example okay that's an amazing annotation and now this up to the frame 60. Now we have to restrict our scene to the part of the video we want to render. If we want the full video to be rendered, we have here the, the duration of the video that, is, that uh, in this case is 200 frames, but I want just to render 60 frames. So 60 frames and that's it. Okay. And now how can I render this to output an MP4? This is pretty, pretty straightforward. I go to the render panel. I have to make sure that the resolution is compatible with the codec. So in this case, 1080p, it's okay. I have to put this at 100%. Now here in output, I have to configure where do I want the video to be rendered. So I want the video here. 
And now I have to change this the, from PNG because if we uh, export, if we render this in PNG, we are going to get frames in just like any other 3D render. Instead of that, I'm going to use FFmpeg video. And inside encoding, I can change the codec that I need. In this case, I want MPG4. I, I may leave this uh, as, as it is. I know I can render, but it's not with the animation render button. It's with the OpenGL render active viewport. I have this option here, OpenGL render animation. It's, it's the same, but now I'm going to press this and you are going to see one thing. The video texture is not being updated. Why is that? Because the same bug is uh, applying to this case. If I press play, the video texture is not uh, updating. So how can I overcome this? It's pretty simple. I go to the texture panel. With the mouse over this panel, I press Alt A. Now the movie texture is playing. And now I press the OpenGL render active viewport. And now my texture is being updated and my movie is being exported without any problem. So that's it. I hope you like the video. Uh, I hope you find it, it useful, especially if you are a 3ds Max or Maya user. In other video, I'm going to explain how to mix this with the video sequencer editor so you can make pauses in, the, in different uh, footages and you can make annotations while the movie is, is completely stopped. If you like the video, please uh, press like. And if you like this kind of videos or other videos in Spanish or English, uh, subscribe to the channel to be notified. And that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.